In the mid-1950s, the United States Air Force was obsessed with stopping a potential Russian invasion of Western Europe. The Russians had huge tank armies, and it was felt the only way they could be stopped was with tactical nuclear weapons. Up till now, nuclear bombs had been carried only by large bombers. Now the Air Force wanted a fighter bomber that could carry a small tactical nuclear bomb and be capable of flying at Mach 2. The North American Aviation Company submitted its F-107 design to be considered by the Air Force for its nuclear bomb-carrying fighter bomber. North American Aviation had made the F-86 Sabre jet the most successful fighter of the Korean War. The F-86 had been modified into the F-100 fighter that served with the Air Force in the late 1950s. The F-100 had been the first Air Force jet to fly Mach 1 in level flight. The F-100 was then modified to become F-107. The F-107 was similar to the F-100 in many ways, except it had a more powerful engine and a different position for the engine air intake. The F-86 and the F-100 had their engine air intakes in their noses. The F-107 had a larger radar unit in the nose that required the intake to be moved somewhere else. After wind tunnel tests, it was discovered a chin air intake caused shock waves that interfered with the launching of the belly-mounted nuclear bomb. It was decided the best place for the intake was on the top of the fuselage. This was the first time the intake had been placed in such a top position on any airplane. This top air intake placement gave the F-107 a very distinctive look. Another thing about the air intake was it had a variable area inlet duct, or VAID, which automatically controlled the amount of air fed to the jet engine. This was the first time any jet plane used such a system. In September 1956, the first F-107 flew. On its first flight, it reached Mach 1. In November, it reached Mach 2. The F-107s were each hand-built, so they were delivered slowly. In November 1956, the second F-107 was delivered. This was the only F-107 equipped with four 20mm cannons. It was used for weapons testing dropping both conventional bombs and dummy nuclear bombs. It had three hard point pylons under each wing to carry conventional bombs. The single nuclear bomb was carried in a semi-recessed area in the belly of the plane. In December 1956, the third F-107 was delivered. The Air Force conducted a fly-off competition between the F-107 and the Republic F-105 Thunder Chief to see which one it would choose to be its new nuclear-carrying fighter bomber. The F-107 lost the competition. The Air Force considered the overall performances of the F-107 and F-105 to be similar. Some factors that caused the F-105 to win the competition were it could carry nearly 4,000 pounds more in conventional bombs, and it had a completely internal bomb bay which the Air Force felt provided more protection for the nuclear bomb. In March 1957, the Air Force terminated the F-107 contract with North American Aviation. The Air Force continued to test the cannon-equipped F-107 for a while, then sent it to an Air Force museum. The two existing F-107s in November 1957 were sent to the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. The NACA did advanced research projects for aircraft development. The two F-107s flew high-speed, high-altitude tests for NACA. 
However, one F-107 was soon lost to the program. This F-107 flew only four test missions before NAC-8 retired it. This specific airplane had so many mechanical problems that the NACA did not consider it safe or reliable. On October 1, 1958, the NACA became NASA. The difference was NASA was concerned with outer space exploration as well as atmospheric aircraft development. The creation of NASA did not affect the F-107 test program. That left only one F-107 flying for NASA until September 1959. At that time, the F-107 was seriously damaged in an aborted takeoff. NASA wrote the plane off as a lost, not worth repairing. This F-107 had flown some 40 test missions. It had provided valuable data for advanced flight research. Specifications for the F-107 are crew, one pilot, length, 62 feet, wingspan, 36 and a half feet, height, 20 feet, loaded weight, 39,755 pounds, speed, Mach 2 plus, that's 1,295 miles per hour, range, 2,428 miles, service ceiling, 53,200 feet, power plant, one jet engine producing 24,500 pounds of thrust.